good guys it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will continue to answer some of your questions that you have been leaving on my lock content videos so let's get right into it so the next question I have is out of curiosity what products were you using on your locks now I do have a video where I shared um, the products I was using on my locks I don't really use a lot of products. I didn't use a lot of products when I was on along my lock journey, but I'll go ahead and link that video for you to check out to see the different types of products I was using. Okay, so the next question we have is, how many years do you need to have locks in order to retain length? How many years do you need to have locks in order to retain length? You don't need to have locks for any amount of years <laughs> to retain your length because if you think about it like this whatever length you started with um say you started with two inches and then six months later you decide to comb out your locks whatever amount of growth you had within that time frame you would retain that length providing that you're combing out your if you're combing out your locks um providing that you're doing it in a um, safe manner where you're not damaging your hair you will retain majority of that length right so yeah um so it doesn't necessarily depend on how long how many years because the question was how many years do you need to have locks in order to retain length you will retain whatever length you have started with within any time frame when you're ready to comb out your locks because that's the only way you will retain length is if you're combing out your locks because if you're cutting your locks you're cutting away all that length so providing that you're combing it out you will retain all the length that you have well majority of the length that you had because just like with me uh, when i combed out mine i had 14 inches of hair but by the time i was done i had um ten and a half inches because I lost a lot of hair um you know but I believe that also come down to postpartum hair loss which I have spoken about in one of my videos which I'll link for you to definitely check out to hear what I had to say about that but for the majority if you're not experiencing postpartum hair loss <laughs> then like my son Jaden you would have seen in the video where I shared where I combed out his locks he retained a lot of length he retained his length plus more so yeah okay and the final question for today is if you have a looser or a more kinkier hair texture um does that affect length retention do you have more or less length retention no no your hair texture does not affect length retention your hair care routine affects length retention so um, like i said again if you're combing out your locks or something like that how you go about um taking down your locks will certainly affect length retention if you are just pulling at your hair and ripping it as you go along you're going to lose a lot of hair but if you're careful and gentle then you will retain a lot of length but your hair texture plays no part it plays absolutely zero part in length retention um so don't think oh my hair is more kinky so i'm not gonna have more length but to be honest kinkier hair curlier hair is much longer than people think because when my hair when i wash my loose natural hair and it shrinks and then I stretch it you're like oh wait a minute that little ball on your head actually stretched all the way down to here so don't be deceived by the kinks so no you don't have less retention if your hair is more kinky or straight or loose is that what it says looser you know it all depends on how you care for your hair that's what um, determines your length retention so do not be fooled do not be fooled length retention comes down to how you maintain your hair strands okay so that's it for today guys i hope you guys found today's video very helpful and if you did then please make sure to give me a big massive thumbs up drop a comment share this video and do all the engagement stuff that you need to do so that youtube could see that this video is of value and they can push it to other people so that you know others can benefit from this video just like you have so definitely go ahead and show me some love by giving me a big massive thumbs up and let me know how you found this video so until next time guys i will be right back here with another video